All right, so I did the rest of this task. It only took a couple more minutes, so it's not an extremely long task. And it would give the option for doing multiple of these under different instruction conditions or something like that. Or as a very uh, quick behavioral task of impulsivity, maybe. And that's the only debriefing it gives at the end. So um, here's the, the earns task is here. Now, um, I can open this file directly. Let me first, if I click a second time on this dot, it will update the file and you can see that it created its own data folder, which wasn't there before. But if I select the dot and then go to open edit selected, it'll open it in, in Finder or Windows Explorer for you. So um, let's see if there's any interesting error messages. Nothing reported there. Um, nothing here except it does show some of the parameters at the beginning. 80, 20, 20, 80 trials per jar and things like that. So if I open data, I have I was on subject 10, so it created a subject 10 folder and it just created one file. That specifies a line for each row. And there's 51 rows, which means there were, I guess, two jars um, total. If we look at type, that tells you was it jar one or jar two, and there's 25 of each of those. That was what was controlled by um, we'll go to here, this 25 trials per jar. So if we want it longer, we could do 50 trials per jar. There's no, um, in this um, task, there are no um, blocks where you have small breaks between them. That wouldn't be hard to add, but they're just not there. And um, let's see, if we look at this, most of these are pretty standard and pretty easy to understand. One versus two means the left versus right. Um, and this records not one uh, per, uh, per choice or key click, but just once per trial. So um, this tells me, well, I looked for six things. And then... Um, well, or I was, I was on the sixth thing, so the count is probably off by one. And um, this tells me how long it took me, how much sampling, you know, how many with samples and responses did it take me to make my response. And here is the sequence of, of things I got. I got a one, 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 and then it tries to calculate a, a maybe a likelihood ratio between positive versus negative, and, and then also my accumulated points at that point. So if we go through here, we can see, well, it was type 1. I said left shift, so it was correct. Um, the count was at 6, which means I drew 5 marbles, and the next number was 6. So if you want to use this as a number, you have to subtract of a number of marbles. You have to subtract 1 from it. Um, and we can see here, this tells, essentially, if this is, um, I guess if this is closer to one, then it's um, strongly in favor of, of um, uh, bin one. And if it's closer to two, it's strongly in favor of bin two. So it's, it doesn't do anything really um, uh, really clever. It's just sort of saying the evidence was close, was for here a little closer to one than to two. Here it was completely in favor of two. And in the cases a couple times where I made a response without drawing anything, it doesn't know what to do. So it, it does NAN and the stimulus sequence was blank. And um, Let's see, and so here I accidentally hit the button and I lost 
5,000 points, moving from 4,000 to negative 1,000. And you can see how, after I got the hang of it, at the end of the day, my um, points got up to about 30,000. And this was, you know, each one was, each trial was between 2 and 10 seconds. Uh, this is what, the very last trial was interesting because it was really balanced all the way up to the end. And so I had to guess which one it was, and I got it wrong, so I took a hit at the very end. But um, anyway, that is the earns task, and what you might try doing for a dependent variable is looking at the average count. Um, this is how, how often they are, how much information they're seeking. You could also maybe look at that in comparison to time, how quickly they're seeking more information, and how calibrated they are by looking at accuracy um, versus evidence bias. Um, those are some of the things you might want to look at. And then if you just want an overall performance, you could look at this score at the end or look at accuracy at the end to see how well they're doing. Someone who's more calibrated with the system should do better. If they're too risk-seeking, they may do worse. There's maybe an optimal level of evidence to gain, and some people will gain more. I think for a the risk-reward structure here, that this can bounce you around a lot, and so you might either want more trials or to stick to things like accuracy to do something like that. But that is the earns task.